Hello everybody. This past Saturday night I was on Facebook and I encountered this comment from a user going by the name of Edward Schwartz. And in this comment, he's literally inciting activists to burn down government buildings. He's also made similar posts on his Facebook timeline and apparently has a YouTube account where he's uploaded videos. Now I'm not going to speculate in this video whether this guy is genuinely unhinged and delusional or whether something else is going on. Either way, it doesn't change the way that we should respond to these types of people. The way I dealt with this person on Facebook was to instantly call him out take screenshots of his comments, and post warnings to all my Facebook contacts about what this guy was up to, asking all of them to block him. Right now, all of us need to be on hyper alert for anyone calling for us to initiate violence. And we need to publicly hold such people to account and give them no slack whatsoever. We cannot afford to allow people to use the comment sections of our YouTube channel or our Facebook pages to promote an attack. I know there's some people out there who have a policy of not removing comments and not blocking commenters. But in this case, you need to start making an exception to your rule. If anybody in the movement can be tricked into pulling some idiotic stunt like setting fire to government buildings, the result will be devastating. Any event like that would be used to turn public opinion against us, and it would be used to justify a crackdown. Don't let anyone try to tell you that this would hurt the government. To the contrary, it would massively strengthen their position. Right now, more than ever, the American people, and activists in particular, need to commit to the non-aggression principle, and make this commitment absolutely clear by speaking out about it. The non-aggression principle is very simple. Do not initiate violence. Do not fire the first shot. Do not attack unless you are attacked. This doesn't mean that you can't defend yourself, but what it does mean is that you have to do everything in your power to prevent a situation from escalating to violence. Whoever strikes first will lose the hearts and the minds of the people, and that's the most important asset in any conflict. If you want to be proactive, if you want to change the course that we're on, then start by calling your local sheriffs. Start by reaching out to everyone you know in police and military. Ask them point blank if they're prepared to refuse to comply with orders that violate the Constitution. Talk to them about the Oath Keepers. Let them know that they're not alone and that you will support them when it's time for them to refuse those unlawful orders. This is how we win, by mass non-compliance, by making the federal government's orders irrelevant, not by initiating violence. If you agree with the message in this video, please share it with everyone you know. Share it to Facebook, to Twitter, post it in forums and groups, and send it to any activist you know is managing Facebook pages or YouTube channels. And if you make videos, please consider making a video on this topic. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and for bonus content, visit our website at stormcloudsgathering.com.